Hey guys, what's up? This is Greg from Europroblog.com. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Google Keyword Tool. Well, how to use it, because apparently I keep getting a lot of questions about people asking me how to use it successfully. Because if you don't do it, if you, if you just use it randomly, you know, you just take a couple of keywords, um, it's not going to work. Let's make that clear. So, um, let's get started, guys. Alright, so first of all, go to Google or unless you know the whole link which I don't so I just use this so let's go to the Google keyword tool right here we go so um, recently I've started a new blog about brainwaves um, it's an affiliate um, blog uh, with Google um, ads on it so if, if you want to if you want to have a look at it can show it to you guys. All right, that's it. That's my new blog. Um, as you can see, the ads are here. I've been trying to use these ones as well now. Seem to be really useful as well. It's got, I'm, I get quite a lot of clicks for, uh, from it. And here are other ads. A couple of images going straight to my affiliate part uh, partner. And it's pretty much it. Um, I'm really happy about this one. It looks pretty cool to me. Alright, anyway, so um, what did I do? How did I use the keyword tool um, for my new blog? So first of all, important keywords you might want to uh, brainstorm about. So what I came up with obviously was brainwave. So I click on get keyword ideas. And here we go. Here we are. What I want to do first is, oh, actually, it's been done already. But normally, you'll get like all the data, all the results, like just randomly ranked. So what you want to do is click on global monthly search volume, so that you get actually the highest uh, results above on top of the page, right? So obviously, I want to use Brainwave because if I go to Google and I type. Oh no, I type brain wave. I can see that there are around 1,770,000 websites about this one. So this one is pretty doable. It's really easy to actually rank on page one. Uh, like obviously, the less results you have, the easy, the easier it's gonna it's gonna be for you to rank on page one. And you don't wanna, you know, if if you if you start blogging about I don't know like make money online or something like that or about a famous um, artist or something just don't bother because it's gonna take you ages to get ranked on page one I mean you can you can do it but it's gonna take you ages and you're not gonna see any results within at least like a year I don't know probably something like that because the competition is just way too big and, and unless you want to spend a lot of money on advertising but obviously that's not what we want to do so um, just you know if you start a blog choose your niche wisely use like niches that are not too competitive like for example this one uh, obviously don't copy me guys because um, you know it's not gonna work um, so as you can see like nearly two million uh, results so it's pretty doable so uh, I'm gonna use this one. What I do is I copy, and then I want to paste it in a block note uh, in a Notepad document, and I just paste it, put a comma and space it, and then I go for my next one, Brainwaves, for example. I'm gonna use this one as well. But as you can see, like Brainwave uh, has has been searched over uh, 100,000 times. So if you rank on page one. You get chances are really high that you'll get that amount of visitors on your page. So, and that's what everybody would like to have, I suppose. So, um, I'm gonna use this one. It's pretty important. Uh, I'm gonna use Brainwaves as well. And do exactly the same. Copy paste it, and then I'm gonna check all the other. Um, keywords that are related to uh, my blog 
um, what you want to do is try another keyword um, brain synchronization for example let's see what results I get from that um, yeah it's not that big but I'm gonna use it anyway because it's still 1000 people and it's gonna be really easy to get on it um, oh like if you use the keywords guys just you know check them in Google before like for example I'm gonna use I'm gonna show you what to do copy paste it into Google and look at how many results you get from that 1 million six hundred uh, twenty thousand results which is pretty doable um, and that's like that would be an extra thousand um, visitors to your website so yeah you might want to use this one now I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you guys some something really important and especially uh, for you guys out there who, who are having blogs about um, games or or um, blogs that are related to kids uh, toys or whatsoever I don't know uh, what you want to do is type when you type when you when you type your keyword try to use uh, spelling mistakes this is really important you've got no idea how many people actually make mistakes spelling mistakes it's unbelievable like for example let's say um, world of warcraft right I'm gonna I'm gonna type word of warcraft so I'm gonna leave out the L in the word word this is annoying I'm gonna click on this and as you can see wow 50,000 people actually searched this keyword and I'm gonna check how many results you get from that to see if it's actually pretty doable to get on page one um, now this one's gonna be really tough to, to rank pretty high but you get the idea try to get some spelling mistakes but obviously World of Warcraft is huge so it's gonna be really hard to rank on page one but you know if you wanna if you wanna work hard and if you wanna work, work a long time it could be doable but for example let's say Call of Duty right Call of Duty and let's put two T's in duty let's see what we get from that Look at this one, Call of Duty with two T's, 74,000 times. That's pretty big. So you might want to use that if you know your blog is about that game. Um, let's see how many results you get from that. Wow, this is pretty pretty doable. Not even a million results, guys. I would, if you have a blog about Call of, if you have a blog about games or about Call of Duty you know use this key uh, use this keyword I mean 758,000 results for Call of Duty with two T's which people actually type um, which actually uh, every month 74,000 people actually type you know just use it it's you've got no idea how much traffic you can get you can actually generate from spelling mistakes alright this is pretty much it um, use your key like try to get around 50 keywords like I always say um, you can always do more but like I won't, I won't go lower than 50 keywords guys um, if you wanna check how you're doing you know um, use the keywords in Google and have a look at your results obviously see how you're doing if you're ranked, pa if you're ranked close to page one if not, try to book a social bookmark that keyword a bit more. Um, all right, guys. Hope you will, uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, go to my uh, YouTube channel, check it out, for, uh, check out my other videos. Please comment. I love reading your comments, and you know I'm always there to help you guys. So if you have any questions, just you know email me, um, tweet me, retweet me, um, just comment my just comment youproblog.com and I'll be there to answer you guys. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!